spider's web and uh, another unboxing video for you today this is another one to add on to my collection I have the beast game I've got on the brink I have in the lab I have contagion I have the cure and now I have <laughs> state of emergency it's the new one from Pandemic. Okay, so here's the box cover. See, we have some of obviously medical staff with a syringe, and then you've got a military personnel there, and a couple of other characters down here. Uh, your characters down here in hazmat suits a cow, a monkey, a pig, and a rooster. Notice how I avoid saying the word cock. Now, on the back, it shows the difference challenges that we have. We have the hinterlands, hinterlands challenge. The diseases are spreading from animals to humans. Shows we've got five new roles, seven new events. Uh, the second of the challenges is adjust pandemics difficulty. So quarantine slow down the diseases. Slow down diseases to make the game easier. Uh, emergency event challenge. Unpre unpredictable events make the game harder as if we needed anything to make the game harder and the third challenge is the superbook challenge at a fifth disease that cannot be treated produce vaccine doses after finding its cure you must eradicate the superbook disease to win it's not for the faint of heart in the game itself we have five roll cards five pawns, seven event cards, six quarantine cards, two hinterland boards 18 transparent discs, 5 black, 4 blue, 5 red and 4 yellow, 1 hinterlands die, 10 emergency event cards, 4 reference cards, 4 vaccine factories, 24 vaccine doses, 2 superbug infection cards, 8 superbug bonus cards, 1 revised roll card for the superbug version, 24 purple disease cubes, 1 cure marker and 1 cure indicator and a cure indicator card. It's for ages 13 up, 2 to 4 players, 45 minutes it says. <laughs> Let's have a look at what's inside shall we? We've had a look at the outside of the box. Let's look at what we actually want to see. Make a bulb in. There we are. <clears throat> Nice shiny box, yay. Okay, inside. As usual, it's an expansion by Matt Leacock and Tom Lehman. We have a rules book. It looks, as always, quite comprehensive. The different things we have to do. Eight pages. And then we have the hinterland boards. Now these boards fit on the edges of the main board. So obviously you have to use the main board along with this game. And then we have a die. We have a pig, we have a rooster, we have a monkey, we have a cow, we have a blank space and we have another blank space. Now we have a bag of goodies. What bag of goodies do we have? Let's look. We have these little green things. These I would imagine are the um, oh things for the vaccine doses. These will be. You'd say so the just the Vaccine doses. 
and uh, for the um, the, uh, the oh the fifties ease challenge. What was it called again? I just turn this over and look. In fact, I'll not turn it over. I'm just. It's for the Superbug challenge. That was it. And then we have twenty-four of these little purple disease cubes. These are the um, extra ones that you get with the is it, uh, on the brink. They can be added to that. And then we have little plastic pawns. Now these are plastic I'm sure in the base game and all the other games they are wooden. Maybe wrong, maybe wrong. And we have that. We already have one of those, we got it in the previous game. I'm assuming that this this is done be in case we haven't you, you know you bought this without buying the on the brink expansion but I've got the end of the expansion so that is useless to me <coughs> next we have the vaccine factories there's four of these they just look like the little houses like the um, oh, treatment sensors that we get in the original game then we have 18 transparent discs we have five brown four blue five red and four yellow don't ask I don't know and then we have six quarantine markers count them six of them and then we have a deck of cards let us go down to the table and investigate this deck in further detail Okay, okay. here we have the um, blue blue here we have the deck of cards why did I say blue then I don't know <laughs> let's just open up and see what's inside we have on the back it says purple cure indicator Okay, and that is the one that goes onto the main board. Now I already have the On the Brink expansion. In that there is a sticker that you can apply to the board. I've applied that sticker, I have no need for that card. So if you've already got, if you're thinking of getting this, or if you've just bought this and you're wondering why they give you another one of these, it's as, it's as I said earlier, it's in case you don't have the On the Brink expansion. That's the only reason they've added this, to make sure that you've got the appropriate number of uh, items for some of the challenges. Okay, so we get the usual bluish backed cards. Let's have a look at what these are. Yeah. These are for the Superbook Challenge. We have Isolate. Isolated disease sample. Use this card as a blue city card for sure knowledge which matches any blue cities or discover a cure. Isolated disease sample. Use this card as a red city card for sure knowledge which matches any red cities and discover a cure. And then we have the isolate disease sample for the yellow city. Exactly the same as the other two. And for the black ones. Then we have a regional response team. As one action, discard this card to make a direct flight to any blue city and yeah, any blue city and treat disease there. And then for any red city, and then for any yellow city, and then for any black city. And that's those. Pop them to one side and then we get what next? We have the ones with the green back. These are the ones that go up at the top of the board, remember. Superbug Mutation. Drawing this card is not an infection card draw. 
If the superbug disease is eradicated, remove this card from the game. If the next infection card city has no purple cubes and its disease is not eradicated, then add one purple cube instead of a cube of that card's colour. Otherwise, this card has no effects. Do the infection normally, adding both one cube to the city's colour and one purple cube. I think these do exactly the same. These are for the superbug mutation challenge. So I'll put those to one side. I think I've got those in the On the Brink expansion. I may be wrong. And next we have lots more of these blue backed cards. I'm not going through all of them. In fact, these are split into two. I'm going to explain the difference. Event cards. These usually do something good. Emergency event cards, from what I've heard, these are not good. <laughs> these stop us doing things quite often, a lot of the time. So we'll have a quick look through these, but we'll have a more detailed look through these because these are new to this particular expansion. Okay, so what do we have? When we have emergency response, you play after next. Uh, you play after the epidemic. Not an it's not an action. So I have to play a movie's pawn with permission to the epidemic city and have him treat disease though before injection infections uh, advanced team play at any time until this player's next turn ignore one outbreak uh, play at any time not an action use only with quarantines place a quarantine mark in any city without one uh, resource planning play at any time draw look at and rearrange the re and return the top four cards of the player deck do not mix them with your hand Sample delivery. Play at any time. Select a player. He may give one city card to any other player. Apply hand limits before doing this. And uh, another play at any time. It's an emergency conference. Select a player. Each other player's pawn may move to the city that this player's pawn is in. And finally, infection rumour. Play before infections. Not an action. Draw as many infection cards as the current infection rate and look at them. Put one in the infection discard pile. Return the rest. Then infect cities drawing one fewer card. There we have our event cards. And now our bad event cards. <coughs> our emergency event cards. CDC planes are grounded. Play immediately when drawn. So these you play as soon as they are drawn by the sound of it, and they add a little extra tension to the game, shall we say. It is a continuing effect. Players cannot move by direct charter or shuttle flights or the events are lift. Put this card face up, discard it after playing the next emergency event. So that stays in play until another one of these cards gets played. Emergency event, this time it's a containment failure. When doing the next outbreak, add two, not one, disease cubes to each connected city. Put this card face up, discard this after the next, out card, yeah, the next outbreak. Wow. Disease hotspots. Again, play immediate, immediately when drawn. Draw one card from the infection deck bottom. If this disease is not eradicated, add three cubes of this colour to its city. Discard the infection pile to the infection discard pile. Sorry, discard the infection card to the infection discard pile. I guess you get rid of that straight away after it's played. Disease zones expand. Add one cube of every non-matching colour except purple to each city with different coloured cubes. If this would add a fourth cube of a colour, do an outbreak instead. Limited options. Again, it's a continuing, continuing effect. It goes on until another one of these emergency event cards get played. Reduce player's hand limit to six cards. Discard cards or play events as needed. Put this card face up. Discard is after playing the next emergency event. Logistics failure. Play immediately when drawn. Do infections twice this turn. Once if the event A Quiet Night is played. Ooh. Patient zero. Play immediately when drawn. Draw one card from the infection deck. Bottom. 
had one disease cube of this color to this city every turn before infections but this card and its infection card face up discard them after playing the next emergency event wow sanitation breakdown move the infection rate marker forward one space if not at the infection tracks end another continuing effect time runs out draw a player card on future turns player cards or players draw three not two player cards put this card face up and discard it after playing the next emergency event and finally widespread panic play immediately when drawn when during the next outbreak move the outbreaks marker forward one extra space put this card face up discard it after the next outbreak there are things in there that will really kick your backside when playing this game as if the game doesn't do that enough <laughs> oh dear right before we have a look at the roll cards let's have a look at these cards okay we have four of these they're all the same card we're just going to focus on one of them so on this side we have superbook challenge so where the purple violets discover a cure superbug disease only at any research station discard five city cards including at least two cities with the purple cubes on them remove the research station from the game replace it with the vaccine factory and one vaccine dose okay this one now build vaccine factory after superbug cure at a research station, remove it from the game. Replace it with a vaccine. Sorry, at a research station, remove it from the game. Replace it with a vaccine factory and one vaccine dose. And then we have collect vaccine. At a vaccine factory, transfer any number of its doses to your roll card. And finally, distribute vaccine. Return one vaccine dose from your roll card to the supply to remove all purple superbook cubes from the city you are in. On the other side, we have the Quarantine and Hinterlands. Um, type uh, gameplay type things. Uh, so these cards, or these little discs, impose quarantine if using the quarantines. Place a quarantine marker with its two side up in the city, in the current city. And for, and for the Hinterlands, sure knowledge. Um, in the hinterland space with another player either give any city card matching the colour of this space to that player or take any city card of the matching colour from that player so that's what they are next we have our roll cards colonel use only with quarantines and use all six quarantine markers when you enter a city with a one quarantine marker, flip it to its two side. As an action, you may discard a city card to place a quarantine marker in any city. And then we have a first responder. As an action, you may move to any city with a research station. And immediately after an epidemic, you may out of turn move to an epidemic city and treat disease there before infections. And then we have a pharmacist. As an action, reveal a city card to treat disease or distribute vaccine there. And as an action, remove one cube of a cured disease from any city to the supply. Next we have a veterinarian, used only in the Hinterlands Challenge. As an action as a research station, you may move to any hinterland space. In a hinterland space, remove two cubes of an uncured disease when you treat disease. Now we have the gene splicer. You may discover a cure at a research station in a city of the colour being cured by turning in two city cards of the cured colour plus one city card each of the three other standard disease colours. Sounds interesting. And we have the medic. And we have the medic already. But this medic is only used in the Superbook Challenge because of this extra little bit of text at the bottom. 
So as usual remove all cubes of one colour when doing treat disease and automatically remove cubes of cured diseases from the city you are in and prevent them from being placed there. However there's this little purple bit right in here as you may be able to see. I'll read it out because it's not very clear or it doesn't look to be. To remove superbook cubes you must also discard a vaccine dose. So um, as I say, as usual, remove all cubes of one colour when doing treated disease, yeah? And then automatically remove cubes of cured diseases from the city you are in. But, but to remove superbook cubes, you must also discard a vaccine dose. And you can prevent them from being placed there, or prevent disease cubes from being placed in the city you're in. So, the, they are our rolls. Uh, And we have a purple, another green, whatever colour that is, <laughs> another brown, indigo I think that would be, and uh, as I say, another medic but only used for the Superbook Challenge. Right, so that was um, Pandemic State of Emergency Expansion. Let's just have a, a look. It's a little more detail. It's a few of these things we find in here. Now I'm going to change this to black because some of the things in here are green and the green board doesn't really, or wouldn't really show much. But I'm using is one of the hinterland boards. So that's our little, um, not research station, uh, vaccine centre or whatever it may be called. Can't remember. Um, oh, yeah, vaccine factory. And that's what that is. And then our little uh, vaccine doses. <coughs> like little of those, you can get uh, pills that like a gel capsule they just look like some of those so that's what they look like next we have the cubes when you've seen the purple cubes before I think I've shown you in uh, I'm sure I did an unboxing from the brink but just in case they're just standard purple cubes, nothing special about them, just perspex purple cubes, that's all. Okay, and after that we have seen the die, we've seen the thing, let's have just a, a quick look at these. black disc we have one two three four five of those we have one two three four five of the red ones one two three four yellow and one two three four blue I have not a clue what these do I have not a clue why there's five of uh, two sets and four of the other two sets but all will be made clear when I open the rule book and actually read it. <laughs> um, I went in, I was at the games club on Friday night and uh, I, Mark from Green Tree Games was there selling his words. Um, as usual, whenever I mention him, I'll put his name down. I'll put his, the link down to his uh, site in the description box. Um, but he was there selling his words. He had Surro of the Sea. And I grabbed it. I thought, I'm having that. And then, under a piece of paper on the table, I saw a wonderful sight. I saw, quite literally, that. 
that's all I saw. I put Sue of the Sea down, moved the sheet of paper he was reading, <laughs> grabbed the box, I said, right, how much is this? <laughs> so, I know nothing about how it's played, I know nothing about all the uh, extra um, variants of this. All I know is it's pandemic. I have the other games, I'm having this one as well. That's all I know, that's all I need to know. <laughs> so, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's not uh, much of, well, as per usual, it's not much of an informative video, but people ask me why I do unboxing videos, what's the point? My theory behind it is I open them on camera so it can be seen what I've got. And then if I have to contact the manufacturers or whatever because there's a fault in the game, or the fault with something inside it, um, I have some uh, something to refer them to to show them that I'm not making it up. And that's the reason why I do them. That's in the facts. I enjoy showing my new the new things I buy. I like to share things with you. My viewers, my subscribers, no, never mind that, my friends. <laughs> right, that's it from me, that's it from Pandemic State of Emergency. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now. <laughs>